see what she's doing. Why are you on the tollway? <laughs> oh. oh, you're going into Sephora. <laughs> Wait until you find out you don't have money for that. You better not be speeding. This thing tells me how fast you're going. What, what are you doing? A minute ago you were going this way, now you're going that way? Sometimes I wonder how we got through the 80s and 90s without smartphones and apps. You know, nobody knew what you were doing mid-flight. You know, the moment you were at home, you grabbed your phone that was plugged into a wall. Um, you made that phone call, okay, I'm coming over, and then it's silence. It's silence between you leaving and making it to the, to the next door. All right, this is starting off interesting. I mean, but isn't that, I guess that's just life in general. What am I doing in this intro? Let's go ahead and dive in. So I picked up some cleaning products for her. I actually picked this up for myself as well and then realized I need to get some for her for her cleaning stuff. They don't really have much to clean, a little sink. She's gonna wanna wear gloves and I got some of these sponges, which are my favorite. I honestly don't buy sponges anywhere else. And so I'll throw these in her dorm room. Okay, this bag. So I got myself this dry erase board. I thought that I could maybe use this for um, writing. I could maybe stage out progress or what days I wanna write certain chapters or even outline chapters and then that way I can just kind of erase it. So I got this for that. I don't know why I don't buy this stuff. I've done it before. Um, but you guys just kind of reminded me, throw, throw on some of this Arm & Hammer carpet deodorizer and I realized that Dollar Tree sells it. The other thing that you guys told me was to throw like a bounce sheet inside the vacuum cleaner which works really well too. Okay, I picked up another one of these Skin Nutrition, uh, Skin Nutrition's Age Defy Dark Circle and Puppy Serum. Yeah, it mysteriously disappeared from my bathroom because my daughter took it. So I went ahead and got another one. I really like it. I don't know how well it works, but what I, cause I didn't get to use it long enough before it floated its way upstairs. Or maybe the ghost, maybe the ghost needs, you know, some age defying dark circle remover. Um, they, they don't get much sleep, so I bet he needs it. Now, what I, what I will say is when I was using it, I really loved how cooling to the touch this thing was. It was just really nice. I really loved it. Whether it works or not on fine lines and wrinkles, it just felt really nice under the eye. So I got myself another one of those. And if you watch the shop with me, I did pick up these two. If it will, there we go. If it will focus. I'm not so sure about the mandarin orange i feel like there's something about scents like that in delicate places um, but this creamy coconut it's free fresh and gentle no harsh chemicals um, compared to simply summer's eve foaming wash so the ingredients apparently according to this are comparable to that you can see it has a little foam pump because it is a foaming wash next up what do i want to show you I picked up some of my favorite gummy bears. We're going to be making a road trip soon to move her into college. So, got that for myself. Next up, I did pick up the Newman's Own Hickory Barbecue Sauce. I thought this was such a great find at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. Newman's Own is the only type of uh, like pasta sauce that I love to buy. Um, just marinara sauce and things like that. It is one of my favorites. So I could not believe that they had barbecue sauce there. And I also did pick up the caramel artificially flavored. Oh, that word bothers me a little bit. But it is craft coffee syrup. And there you go. So I did get that. I think the packaging is very, very nice. And it is a coffee syrup that should taste like caramel. So I want to give that a try. I have just two of the same little favor sets from the wedding section at Dollar Tree. 
So I got these for some upcoming DIYs. I also found, I was really excited about this. Uh, these are electronic dusters. I really didn't want to find myself buying these off of Amazon, so I was so happy when I found them for a dollar. I have a lot of dust on my desk and in my keyboards and all that stuff, and this is awesome. You just spray this and it just, whew, dust gone. Um, next up, I found some new pears, some faux pears. Look how gorgeous they are. And they look very fall, but so I was really, ta-da. Look how gorgeous these are. Just the packaging alone is really beautiful. And these candles last a while. Um, be happy, good vibes. So it has that feel to it. Um, this one is a sweet cedar, wood, and earthy sage. This one is a sparkling yuzu and sweet rose. And walking on sunshine, which is a smoky agar wood and soothing musk. Um, and then this one is my favorite, which is make your dreams happen with it, which is a tropical coconut and delicate verbena, verbena, verbena. Yeah, this one's definitely my favorite. Mm -hmm. This one is so good. I went ahead and picked up the LED light set for Halloween. I don't remember this being out last year. It doesn't look like you get m much. 10. It's 10 orange lights. I just realized this little flag here. Um, so I'm wondering if there were other colors. So I have to pay attention to that because my Halloween colors are actually black, green, and purple. I don't use much orange, but... Yeah, so I'm gonna, so comment down below. Let me know if they do have other colors. But when I go back to Dollar Tree, I'm going to shuffle through and see. All right, then I picked up these stretched little canvases. It's four by six. And I picked these up for some fall DIYs. So stay tuned. Another one is gonna come out soon as well. So it's just a really crazy time right now of getting her prepared to, to move out. Um, but then once that's done, I should stabilize and you should see a pickup in not only planner videos, but fall DIYs. So I apologize that the schedule isn't um, where at least I would like it to be, but it's just, it's a crazy time. I know you guys understand, but I'm just letting you know. It's not for the lack of trying, it's just time. All right, next up, let me share with you this new little ballpoint pen set. If you guys have been with me for a while, you know I haul the decorative or novelty pens. And this one's definitely new. They've had this style with like a little furry ball at the top, but I've never seen it in the middle of the pen like this. Plus, it gives me just that 80s feeling. These were the fun pens where you could select your ink color. And yeah, so I had to pick that up. Next up, I have some stickers. I have been making the open wind letters and I've been reaching for a lot of stickers now, so it definitely makes me happy and not so much feeling like I'm hoarding so much. The intent isn't to hoard all this, it is to use it. Again, it just boils down to time. I picked up doubles of these. I wasn't sure that I had these, but how farmhouse adorable is this little set? And then they have the wiggly little eyes. So I thought it was just really fun. And then I found some new alpha sticker letters. Dollar Tree has been really impressive with the alpha letters. I realized that as I was doing my open win letters. I had so much to choose from and what I've just accumulated thus far. I really love the rainbow of this. And then I love the colors of this one as well. I think I actually have this set because I used it. Then I found these novelty stickers about adulting. I shared one not too long ago, but this one has a square look to it. And if you read through them, they are pretty darn funny. This too shall pass like a kidney stone. I don't want to adult today. I just, I'm just gonna wing it. My last words probably. <laughs> I mean, these are actually pretty funny. Another fine day ruined by responsibility. You've got this. Coffee, that's hilarious. Buy me tacos and call me pretty. Yeah, so anyway, those are those are hilarious. Love those. All right, I found a new composition notebook. I love the donuts. 
And I don't know if you can tell, but there's glitter and texture to the front cover. I just love the color combination. It's so pretty with the black outline. It just pops beautifully. And I found a matching list pad. How cute is that? And then you get the magnet on the back and the same donuts on the bottom. Then I found this one, which is about hot sauce. Thought that was cute too. And the last one, so it's just a shopping list. It's not one of my favorites, but for whatever reason, I grabbed it. I picked up another coloring book. If you're interested in seeing my coloring book collection, I just revealed it in a vlog video on my vlog channel. So I'll link that video down below for you. Um, but I grabbed another one. It is strawberry shortcake, but pictures are really cute. I'm probably gonna take this over to my niece and bring some crayons and let her color with me. So I thought that would be fun. Like, look how cute. Dang. Okay, I found some more books, so I'm gonna give this one a go. Murder at Rough Point, which is a gilded Newport, Newport mystery by Alyssa Maxwell. I've never read any of her books, but apparently Murder at Rough Point is part of a series, a gilded Newport mystery. So I'm gonna give this a go. Gonna give this a read. I'll let you guys I'll let you guys know what I think. Last time I read a Dollar Tree book, it was like the pumpkin murder, I don't know what it was, but it was a hot mess and I didn't like it. Next up, I found Draw with a Vengeance. This was really interesting because at first the cover art, I was just, I almost didn't grab it. And then I was like, let me look inside of it. It is really interesting. I know I'm flipping through this really quickly, but let me show you this one. So this one says, draw X in the tub, draw a toaster falling in the tub, make sure the toaster's plugged in. So I know that sounds a little morbid, but this reminds me of Wreck-It, Wreck-It, Wreck-It Journals. Have you ever guys watched that on YouTube? Just type in Wreck-It Journals and go watch it and then come and then this will kind of make sense. This really reminded me of those Wreck-It Journals or whatever. Um, yeah, but this one is a little bit morbid. I, I will say this is really not that comparable to Wreck-It Journals, but it was it was one of my first thoughts. So anyway, got that. Then I found these cute fall painting sets. Oh, look at the little truck here. Um, even if I didn't paint this, I think the the image alone is kind of rustic and farmhouse and cute. You know, maybe you could just, I don't know, something. I put like put a little burlap bow to hang it or something. I don't know. Then this little scarecrow. He's got the wagon behind him. There were other ones to choose from. I think there was a turkey and a pumpkin patch, but these were the two. Probably take these to my niece as well, and we'll paint. I picked up some of these cereal bags at Dollar Tree. This isn't my first time buying these from the store there, but the reason why I picked these up this time is I thought they would be a great travel snack um, to go drive her to college. And also for her dorm, they're just the right size, getting things that are too big. There's just very limited space where she's gonna be staying at. So um, whether these get eaten on the, the road or if they don't, then they'll just go into her dorm room and then you know they can buy a little thing of milk and pour it into their bowls, which by the way, I'm, I'm having another, um, I think I'm gonna do another haul for things that I've gotten through Amazon the last couple of days, plus what I just got at Walmart in case you're interested. Um, so that you can kind of get an idea of, of what I'm buying for her dorm room because yeah, I'm not, okay, whatever. So was that weird? I also picked up some more gummy bears and then I found these ones. I've never seen the sour looking watermelons before. So they were really interesting, so I wanna give these a try. And the last two things are some hair and body oil. I've never seen this, so I feel like this is new, but it's by Pure Silk, 
which is at Dollar Tree in the form of shampoo, conditioner, and body wash, which I've hauled before on my channel. So the blue is coconut and the green is tea tree. And like it says, it's hair and body. So you can apply desired amount to skin, nails, and hair. All right, guys, so I wanted to actually include the open win items that I got, but the video got a little bit too long and I got carried away. So I'm gonna go ahead and end it here and then I'll save the open win, or I may do the open win first and then this will follow. So however I decide to do it in editing, um, I am separating the two hauls out. So that's it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I just so enjoy going to Dollar Tree. I hope that you guys do too. Let me know how often you guys go and if what your most repeat item is that you find constantly buying. I feel like my, my most repeat item is probably the sponges, um, but let's face it, I get a lot of stickers at Dollar Tree, so. Anyways, that's it. I'll see you guys later. Bye.